One of my friends asked me, "What do you think about the strategies that people introduce in forex forums? Do you think they are profitable?" I knew the answer to some extent, but suddenly an idea came into my head. Hey everyone, my name is David, and in this channel I talk about trading, specifically forex trading. If you want to see what I've seen in this market and industry for over a decade, you may want to subscribe. Anyway, way back when I just started my forex career, I would read everything. I almost read every topic of every forex forum I knew for around one year. Why? Duh! I was looking for holy grail. A system with no flaw. Anyway, I don't want to dive into that story. What I want to say is, someone would appear, open a topic, and say, "This is my strategy with hundreds of pips per day." When this crosses that and that is above this, jump into the market. Then see them rip the pips that others saw. Well, I would start testing the strategy that the guru had taught us. But after spending a lot of time and energy, I would figure out someone else was ripping a lot soon. So I would move on and find another pip ripper crew that had just created a thread. After doing this process for several times, I start thinking: Do these guys really know what they are talking about? What if they've just come across this new idea and want to see what other people think? If so, why do they play group? Maybe they really think that their strategy works. There are millions of reasons that people open a thread in forex forums, and most of them don't necessarily come from bad intention, but it somehow turns out that way. Anyway, after my friend brought up this subject, a wave of nostalgia hit me. And I thought about all those old days, so I decided to start backtesting some of the most popular strategies on forex forums to see how much they can fulfill their promise and how reliable the words of their creators and the opis of the thread is. Most of the time in this bar, I roll up my sleeve, but now it's getting cold, so I skip this bar. I started from Forex Factory, where I used to read its topics a lot. I found a thread that has been around since 2011, and the strategy is supposed to give you 100 plus pips per day easily. However, it seems that nowadays it's more like a boxing ring that people are punching each other for who knows what. Actually, it's normal in Forex forums. Anyway, the thread called Trading Made Simple. It was created in April 2011 and has more than 5,000 posts. I have to say that it's one of the long-lasting threads I've ever seen, so it's probably a good pick for our purpose. I spent one day to read the OP's posts, as well as a few related posts to understand the strategy. The strategy seemed as it promised in terms of simplicity. However, there are some vague areas. For instance, there are three indicators in the strategy that two of them don't even have any specific roles. Let's read the strategy to see what I mean. The key to this method is the trader's dynamic index indicator for entries and exits. Trader's dynamic index or TDI is not one of the default indicators of MT4, and you can download it from the thread. I also use a stochastic indicator. It's only used to confirm direction, nothing else. This is one of the vague points of this strategy. The OP doesn't mention how he uses it for confirming direction. Does he consider overbought or oversold? Or maybe he pays attention to the direction of these oscillators' lines, or crossing of them. We don't know. Anyway, we only use high energy candles. Dot dot dot. That's important. If you don't know about Hakan Ashi, it's one of the MT4 default indicators that changes candlestick chart and filter out some noises. There is another indicator in this strategy that basically doesn't have any usage: five-shifted EMA. Basically, this is a visual reference. 
when a candle is crossing it the green TDI line is crossing red also I read all the OP's posts and I found out he uses this EMI for detecting a range market okay now that we know what the tools are let's see what the rules are hmm that actually rhymed well entries and exits TDI dot 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 is it going up long or coming down short that's the direction to trade this definition is also not clear does he consider every going up and down as the direction of the market or he sees a longer trend as coming up and down we don't know exactly anyway i assume that every up and down is considered as the direction of the market so something like this setup is a bullish trend and this one is a bearish trend we enter a trend when green crosses red on the TDI at the beginning of the new candle dot 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 usual candle one or two if it's candle three or more as in the third ball candle in up move and third bear candle in down move don't enter dot 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 find another trade setup the only exception is if green bounces of red and continues dot 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 it's okay to re-enter on the bounce dot 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 so basically what it says is that after a green line crosses the red downwards we sell and when the green crosses the red up we buy and the only exception is if green bounces of red and continues it's okay to re-enter on the bounce now let's see when we must exit the market there are three types of exit first when the TDI goes flat second when the TDI starts to hook over and third when the TDI do a check mark reversal okay now that we know the rules let's see how I backtested the strategy by the way I've made a video about six ways that you can backtest a trading strategy manually you can see the link on the top right of the video now if you want to know how to backtest a forex strategy you can watch that video for backtesting this strategy i use a free simulator provided by fx blue not only can you backtest a strategy by that but it also provides stats for further analysis i backtested the strategy for three years 2013 2017 and 2020 since i spent three hours for every year i can't show you the entire nine hour process instead i'm gonna speed up the video and in the end i'll show you the results in the meantime let's read some of the posts written by the op and collected in a pdf by one of the followers of the thread so that we figure out how he trades this strategy and what's his idea about trading okay let's see what he says about stop loss in regards to a stop loss i hate sell trading if you feel you want it the safest way is to place your sl at the last high or low a couple of candles back what do you mean a couple of candles back how many candles anyway move on demo it take your time and learn be sure to browse through the trade and look at the training charts that are and will be posted look at the charts others have posted too a picture tells a thousand words actually that might work when wanting to enter a TDI trade dot 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 take a moment first to observe basic forex things dot 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 like how close am I to the previous high or low now you're talking am I in an uptrend or downtrend short and long term and what exactly are the tools that you use for detecting those things uptrend and downtrend am i in or close to a consolidation area and again how you're gonna detect it are the previous candles small dot 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 what do you mean a small candles what si what size do you mean a small look at the candles on the last reversal big little what big how does the momentum look right now 12 2 4 6 referring to angle of green tdi line and a stochastics as if it were a clock's hands now you're giving me more information 
Actually, I read their post, but nothing obvious as well. The other stocks confirm the TDI signal. Sometimes you say you have to follow the TDI, and now you're saying that you have to have a confirmation from a stochastic too. To be honest, I feel this dude came across a strategy and added some other tools that he used in his previous strategy and tried to combine it with this strategy, with this new strategy every now and then. There aren't solid rules for that. Anyway, let's read the rest of the PDF. Sounds like a lot of stuff, but it's basic stuff. And it only takes a moment to observe it. Yeah, maybe they are basic, but you can use every one of those indicators in different ways. For example, do you look at just on overbought or oversold on stochastics? Or look at crosses or the momentum of that or stuff like that? Which one do you use as a signal? If you don't already know these things, don't trade live yet. Dot 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 www.babypips.com is a good place to learn about the basics of trading forex. Now that you're referring us to baby pips to learn stuff, basic stuff, and combine it with your stuff, and make it stuff for all stuff to trade. Okay, the mindset of the OP. My attitude is, I'm gonna win every trade I enter. Really? I'm confident. Now and then, I get my butt kicked. But so what? Da da da. I learn from it and move on. I see it like stepping into a gopher hole. Da da da. I didn't see it. Da da da. I get up and get going. I admire your resilience. Every time I trade, I imagine going to the bank with my wheelbarrow. Do you have a wheelbarrow? I know they're going to pay me, da da da. I just don't know how much today. Throw your fear into the trash, walk away and don't look back. I tell the market in my mind's eye, I refuse to be beaten. I'm smarter than you. That's not true. Because I figured out an easy system to whoop your butt. I'm pretty sure you don't know about the market. Actually, you have to be humble before it. Don't take any crap from the market. You're better than it is. Don't listen to the downer rumors and excuses. Kisses in your mind and your attitude towards the market. I am fired up the more I type it. That's clear. Hot damn. Got to get a bucket of water to splash my keyword to cool it down. Be right back. Trading isn't difficult. Overcoming your fears is the problem in most cases. Deciding your mind to take control and kick booty. Until you do that, you will never more than a minimum trader. Tell the market to go to hell. I think you need a bucket of water again. Relax. No one is gonna defeat the market that way. You're here now. Grab the horns. Get some B. Well, you know. Okay, I think I read enough. Let's see what the backtesting results are. First, let's solve from the results of 2013. I backed this as a strategy for 262 days on 4 hour time frame and opened 171 positions. Well, we didn't get any profit, but it wasn't a disaster because we didn't lose much either. The total loss was 1.5%, which is actually not bad. By the way, I accidentally ended the back testing by pressing escape on the MT4 strategy tester when I had opened the position. That's why you see the account has blown by default. You need to set the filter to September 23rd, 2013 as the end of the results. Anyway, to be honest, I expected a lot worse. Maybe if we can analyze the losing setups, we can turn it into a winning strategy. I wonder. Actually, I have some thoughts that might come in handy. I'll talk about that after the results section. 
For this back testing, I only took the positions when the green line crosses the red one. And I skipped the setups where the green bounces off of the red. By the way, I didn't trade where the market was ranging. I detect that by EMI. When it's flat, I construct the market ranging. For the second back test, I decided to take both type of positions, crossing and bouncing, and test out the strategy on one hour time frame. Well, the results turned out terrible. I lost around 60% of the account within the 133 days of trading. Maybe this bouncing thing or one hour chart are not good ideas. I pondered. For the third attempt, I backtested the strategy for 2020 to see how it performs nowadays. I decided to take the first approach and not only trade the cross setups on 4 hour time frame. Maybe the problem comes from the bouncing positions or 1 hour time frame. No, I was wrong. Ok that didn't work, however this one is not as bad as the previous one. So those factors probably worsen the situation. I lost around 33% of the account in the 251 days of trading. It wasn't that bad at first and the account was in the green for some weeks. But after a few months it went in the red deeper and deeper. At this moment, I can say this strategy with this set of rules is not profitable. But I think it's too soon to give up on it. After trading with this strategy for around 800 times, I know it's weak point. Just like most trade following strategies, this strategy starts losing when it gets stuck in a market consolidation. Since there is no tool in this method that signals the end of a ranging phase, we lose many trends, and when you catch one, you lose most of it, because the price normally pulls back to regain energy. And this is where TDI gives you an exit signal. Maybe changing the exit method will do the trick and make this system profitable. For instance, we can use fixed SL and TPs, preferably 1 to 2 raise to reward, or even higher. ATR can be a suitable indicator for that. For example, 1x ATR for stop loss and 2x ATR for take profit. Another exit method which might be more related to this strategy is using TDI cross for exiting. For example, when we enter a trade, we stay in it until green crosses red. That way we might catch most of the trend, which is actually vital for a trend follower strategy. Anyway, you can backtest this strategy in this condition to see how it performs. Let me know in the comment section if you do that or if you have any other ideas. I'm gonna test other popular systems as well. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to see those videos. And smash the like button if you like this video.